Hello boys and girls, stay at home. Ha, I hope you're doing well. And this is your boy, Mentor. Ha, welcome to our service today. Ha, and I have my teacher here. Ha, let's see who is here. Hey, Mr. Robert. Hello. Are you there? I am here, Mentor. Okay. Say How hi are you doing to today? the boys and girls and welcome them. First, how are you doing, Mentor, today? I'm fine. I'm are you okay? I'm thanking God for this time. Do you take breakfast today? Oh, uh, breakfast? Yeah. Of course, yes. What do you take for breakfast, Mentor? Oh, uh, it was some two eggs. Two eggs? And one sausage. Is and that too much? That is too much, Mentor. <gasps> I thought I was to add one sausage, too, to no. become three. <gasps> Before that, let us pray first, Mentor. Okay, okay. Then we shall continue with your stories, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank you at home. Thank you all boys and girls, all kids at home. Uh, we salute you in the name of Jesus. Uh, let us pray and begin our service today. Father, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, we bless you, we exalt you. We thank you for another opportunity to learn and understand your word, O oh Lord. Be, ex be thou exalted, be thou lifted in our lives. Through Christ Jesus, our blessed Savior, do pray trusting and believing. Amen. amen. And amen and amen. Welcome amen. at home, wherever you're seeing us from. My name is teacher Robert Agan. I am a teacher um, in the Sunday School Ministry of Deliverance Church, Mwiki. I am a teacher of class, uh, of pioneer class. And today, me and the mentor here uh -huh. want uh, to bring a topic that I know most of us can relate to. Mentor, today we are learning about loving your brothers and sister. Oh, that's nice. Loving our brothers and sister. Loving our brothers and sister. <laughs> okay. So before we, 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 we continue, Mentor, do you have a brother or a sister? Of course, I have a brother. Uh -huh. And his name is Kunte. Kunte. Have you ever met him? No. Ah. Uh? Mentor, you're selfish. Are you sure? Yeah, you're selfish, Mentor. I've never met Kunte. Ah, it's because you always teach uh -huh. the pioneer class. Ah, Mentor. Oh, <laughs> but I'll bring him one day to you once the church is opened. Is opened. Okay, okay, Mentor. And I know mentor. it will be open soon. Thank you so much. See, let me ask you a question, Mentor. How do you show Kunte love? Ah, uh, like being kind to him and loving him. Okay. Even when sometime he disturbs me, but I still love him. You still love Kunte? Yes. Okay. I also so show him kindness. You show him kindness? Yes. And one day I was bought a good thing by our neighbor. Mm -hmm. And I had to share some of it to him. With Kunte? Yeah, it was toy cars. <laughs> it was so nice. It was okay. So how did he... How did he receive the gift? Like, was he, he was happy? Like, was he sad? Was uh, how was the reaction? Sad. Okay. No, he was uh -huh. very happy, and he was like, "Ha ha! Thank you so much. I love you. I love you, my brother. I love you, mentor." And okay. I said, mm -hmm. "That's good." <laughs> I was you? also happy to see him happy. Oh, you're happy to see him happy? Yes. Ah, mentor. Today we have a story um, relating close to you and Kunte. Huh? In the Bible? In the Bible. Okay, share to us. Yeah, we have to share. So our story is in the book of Genesis. Genesis? Genesis, yes. Uh, oh, the, the, first, the first book in the Bible? The first book in the Bible. Okay, boys our and girls, Our story is in that? the book of Genesis, chapter 37, right. verse 3 and 4. So I'd like us to read Mentor. Yes. Then we can learn from the story how we need to love our brothers and sisters. Oh, I forgot my Bible. What did you say, Mentor? 
Uh, I, I can't see my Bible. You can't see your Bible? Maybe my brother went with it. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Menta, what will we do with you? Oh, I'll listen to you when, once you're reading. Thank you. Okay, now the Bible says in the book of Genesis, chapter 37, from verse 3 and 4, uh -huh. the Bible says, Now Israel Jacob loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. Coat of many colors. Like, and like, when like his this brethren... One? Yes? Uh, okay, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Okay. And when his brethren saw their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again, Mentor. Amen. Mentor, at any given point, let me use Kiswahili. Kwa siku yoyote, ushawa ijipata kwamba ndugu yako anapendwa sana kukushinda? I thought so one day. Yeah. He was the only one who was taken to swimming and I was left home. They were mm -hmm. saying I'm very young to yeah. go to swimming, but mm. I thought I can't able to swim. Mm -hmm. And I felt bad. I thought mom love Kunte more than me. Oh, Menta. Uh, I'm so sorry. Did you tell mom that uh, you felt hurt that day? Uh, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I told my mom and my dad and from that day, mm. <laughs> I've not left alone at home. Okay, let us learn from, let us learn from Joseph today. Viewers at home, our kids, our wonderful kids, um, today we want to share the story, I want to share with you the story of Joseph um, from the book of Genesis 37, from verse 3 and 4. The Bible tells us that um, Jacob loved his son Joseph so much, more than his older brothers. And the Bible goes ahead and tells us the reason why his brothers hated Joseph is because Joseph in many times used to um, report them to the dad every time. Praise God. Amen. I want to give an example at home. Are you the kind to report Kunte to mom every time? Uh, when he was doing bad things? Yeah. I always tell my dad mm -hmm. and my mom, Kunta mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. throwing stones to mm -hmm. my neighbor's house. Okay. And one day I reported him when he was fighting with other boys at his school. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And he was beaten by my mom. Mm -hmm. So from that day, mm -hmm. I, I noticed that Kunta was very angry at me. But he also reported me. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, that's, that's, that's that okay. was revenge. So to you, that was revenge. No, no, no. That was revenge, man. Uh, mm. That was revenge. Mm. I thought it was also good for me to say to my mom mm -hmm. what he was doing, but okay, let us learn from the word of God today. But you are good. These days, you are good with him. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No fighting, no fighting. I'll come at home <gasps> and see for myself. You will come at home? Yeah, I'll come and visit you today. No. Ah, uh, okay, tomorrow? I'll tell you, mentor. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'll be waiting. Yeah. So, the Bible tells us that one, uh, the apparent Jacob loved the last born who was Joseph more than all his children. Praise God. Amen. And what we want to learn today, today we are learning about loving your brothers and sisters. Praise God. Amen. So, in the story of Joseph, which I know some of us can relate or some of us know. Praise God. Tukio kwa manyumbani najua wengine wengi wetu tunajua sana hii hadithi ya ya Yusufu. And in this story Joseph was among the many children of Jacob. Mentor how many children did Jacob have? Ah. Uh -huh. Mhm. Mm Jacob? Yeah. Are they two? Mentor you are wrong. Ah. Uh -huh. You are wrong. I'm lost. You are wrong. Five? No. Uh, I, I think I'll go and ask my dad about that. Jacob had 12 sons. <gasps> 12 sons? They were 12 sons. Oh, like 12 disciples? Like 12 disciples. Good. Oh, Correct. that's good. I'll remember now. Yeah. I know. They were 12 and Joseph was among the last born sons. 
Can you imagine? Oh, he that's why his dad always exactly. Make that is a, why a coat of many colors, colors like, for him. Like this one. Was that it like that. this one? Yeah, like that one. <gasps> but yours needs more colors. Oh, yeah. okay. So Joseph was among the last bonds of his father. And that is why the father loved him so much than the brothers. But there is something that I love about Joseph that I want to teach people at home. I want you to understand that Joseph loved his brothers so, so, so much. Do you understand that, Mr. Mentor? Even when they even when they did not like him, him even oh. when they used to beat him, yes. even when they used to slander his name, <gasps> he used to love his brother so, so, so much. And so Joseph one day, was a good boy. Very good boy. I think I love the character of Joseph. What about you? I think I'll also become like Joseph. Yeah, because... Love my brother. Exactly. Because even one if he say bad thing to me. Yeah, mental. Yes. So one day, the Bible tells us that one day Joseph got up early in the morning Yes. And he was taking food for his brothers in the field. Uh -huh. And something bad happened. <gasps> what happened? Something bad happened. I, I don't know. I hope they did not came him with the stick that no. they were using to... That day, in the it, field. Was, that day it was worse. <gasps> it was worse? Yes. I like caught. Be attentive. Okay, okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. So the Bible says that he or Siku, when he woke up in the morning, eh? when he, would, he was already prepared, he had taken a shower, he took his coat of many colors with him, uh -huh. he took food with him to go and take to, 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 the, to, to the brothers while they were looking after the flock of their father. All right. Then the Bible tells us that when they saw Joseph, they conspired to kill him. Can you imagine? <gasps> imagine your own brothers and sisters conspiring to kill you. The brothers wanted to kill Joseph? The brothers wanted to kill Joseph. Because ah. his brothers did not love Joseph the way Joseph loved That's them. That's sad. Can you imagine? And why was it? Why did they want to kill Joseph? We shall know in a short while. Okay. Let us continue studying. Now, when they wanted to conspire to kill Joseph, one of them gave them a suggestion and said, Do you know what? Instead of killing him, he's our brother. Let us sell him to Egyptian traders huh? so that he will not be a bother to us anymore <gasps> do you see how god is good uh, and what happened what happened then they decided to take an animal they slaughtered the animal then they took the blood of the animal and poured to a nice coat like this one of yours huh? and they took home to the father and told the father your beloved son joseph whom you loved more than us has done what has died, ah. and they sold Joseph into slavery. Poor Jacob. Oh. And what happened to his father? He was so, so sad. Oh. He cried for so, so many days. His heart was broken that his, the son he loved had died. So, can you do that to your brother, can't you? Ah, I think that's, that, that's weird. Would you do anything to hurt your brother, can't uh, not, not, not as, like killing him mm. or selling him to other counties or okay. country. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. No, no, that, that one, no. Yeah? Yes. What about at home? Is there anything that you could do that could hurt Kante? Yes. Like what? Uh, like one day, mm -hmm. he was uh, late from school Yeah. and I ate all the snacks. Whoa. And he are, did not have anything to eat. Today we are learning about loving your brothers and sisters. Oh, oh, As a okay. good brother, is that something you, you'd want Kante to do to you? No, 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 no. That's, mm -hmm. that's not good. Yeah. And I, I said sorry to Kunte and mm -hmm. we are now good friends. You're now good friends. Yes. Now, I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine. Uh -huh. what, are you what? with me? Yes, yes, yes. I want you to imagine that your brother Kunte something wrong wrong happens to them what do you think will happen to your parents uh, to your mom or dad i'm sure my mom will start screaming oh my boy my boy <laughs> and the way my mom likes screaming mentor stop and then my dad will be like <laughs> mentor you're so funny oh, mm -hmm. i will kill someone today where's my boy uh, oh. so exactly i can't imagine what will happen mm. 
So mentor, imagine that is what happened to Jacob. He oh. lost this, his favorite son, the son that he loved. His son was no more. And that's so terrifying. It was so, it was so terrible for him. Oh. But guess what? There's a story with Joseph also. Yes, when what he happened? was sold to Egypt. Yes. He went, he, be, he first, he was, um, he was a casual laborer. Oh, he became a slave? Yeah, he became a casual laborer. Oh. No, he was a slave, yes. Oh. Then he was sold to Potiphar's house. Then from Potiphar's house, he went to prison. Then from the prison, he went and beca he became the prime minister of Egypt. Ah. Can you imagine? I Something good came from Joseph. You mean even when their brothers brought imagine. an evil deed to him? Imagine. It turns good for Joseph? It turned very good for Joseph. And mm -hmm. was Joseph still loving their brothers even when he was ah. a prime minister? Now that is another story I want to, sh to share in a while. Ah. Now when he was the prime minister of, Israel, uh, of Egypt, sorry. Yes. There came a time when there was famine. Do you know famine? Uh, like when there is no food, exactly. no water, exactly. no rain. Yeah, there was famine, a great famine in the land. And that famine affected the land of Israel. Oh. So people used to come from Israel and go to Egypt oh, to search are... for food oh, and to search for water so that they could survive. Mentor, have you ever gone hungry without food? Huh? Don't mention it. <laughs> for how long, Mentor? Uh, my mom wanted us to fast for two days. Fast for two days? I only managed one. Okay, dry fasting or partial fasting? Oh, we, we took tea in the morning. Yeah. And then my mom told us mm. we are not going to eat for two days. Eat I was feeling days. like I will die. No, imagine. Don't die, mental. Oh, now, okay, okay, okay. I'm imagine, here. imagine now this is what happened to Israel. The whole land, there was hunger. There was no food, there was no water. So all the people in Israel and the people surrounding Egypt, people had to go to Egypt to find food. I want you to imagine. I wonder, did, did the brothers find some food in Egypt? The brothers were sent by their father Jacob to go and buy some food in Egypt. I hope they are not going to see their brother because... I also hope so maybe too. Maybe their brother will, will kill them too. Something happens. What? Mentor. Remember their brother is the prime minister. <gasps> so when they went to buy food, yes. who was selling the food to them? The prime minister. The prime minister. <gasps> the prime minister they wanted to kill. I'm the sure they will minister. not get anything. But that's not the story. Because huh? you see, yes. Joseph is a good Christian. He goes to Sunday school. He loves God. He prays. And he reads his, his Bible every day. And he obeys also his parents. So did the Joseph brother got some food from him? But there was a story before that. Ah? Huh? First, he tricked them. Yes. That they had stolen food. They had stolen something from him. Then <gasps> they came back and he introduced himself to them. That he's their younger brother, the one they hated, the one they almost killed. And now he is a prime minister and in Egypt. Now he is Egypt? a prime minister in Egypt. What? And his brother also feared that he was gonna revenge. I'm them. sure the brothers was saying was like, "Oh, can the earth open and swallow us?" Because exactly, they were ashamed. Exactly, Mr. Mentor. And that is why today we are teaching people yes. to love their brothers and their of course. sisters. Because who knows what tomorrow mentor you will become ah from today i'm going to love my brother so much because yes it's good to love our brothers and our sisters yes oh we don't know about tomorrow exactly it's good to love your brothers and your sisters imagine if tomorrow kante became a prime minister and you too used to quarrel every time oh how would it be i'm going to ask for forgiveness if i have ever long kante good so it is a good lesson to our brothers to us and to our brothers and sisters that we should love one another we should help one another we should show kindness to our brothers and sisters at all times and, and mentor today something something else yes what about the parents at home to mm -hmm. make sure that they love their children 
equally. equally. Exactly, man. Regardless of point. who they are. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know some parents who love their children mm. more mm. if they do well in exams. Exactly. And those who don't do well, they say, mm. Are you my child? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not going to buy you something. But, but mentor is that's that, not fair. That is not right, mentor. Oh, that is okay. not right. So from today, let us be people who will change. Let us love one, one another. Let us love our brothers and sisters as we love ourselves. Ah, will you do that, mentor? Of course. That was a good story and a good lesson. Exactly. Mentor, so what do you plan to do to your brother from today? I think from today, I'm going to give him a big hug. And then, then? I'm going to treat him well mm -hmm. because he is my brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let me tell you the end of the story. Do you know how the story ends? Uh, how did the story end, by the way? Joseph invited all of his family to Egypt. <gasps> well, now he's a prime minister. Even the father? Even the father. I am sure the father was very excited. Very excited. He was very excited. And they dwelled in Egypt till both of them died. <gasps> Can you imagine? And that was so cool. Exactly. So we need to show our brothers and sisters love at all At all times. Time. We should not envy them. We should not be jealous to them. We should not hurt them. And we should also be seeking forgiveness at all times. What do you think, Mentor? I hope the boys and girls at home have heard that. Exactly. And they need to do that. And the Lord will do what? We'll bless them. Exactly. And Mentor, before we leave, we have a memory verse. Oh! A memory verse? Yes. The one you told me to recite? Our memory verse is in the book of First John, chapter uh, 2. Verse 10. Verse 10. Okay, I know Good. it. You know it. Can I say it to boys and girls at yeah, home? Yeah, you, you can recite it for us, mentor. Go ahead. Okay, boys mm -hmm. and girls, our memory verse come from the book of First John, chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 10. The Bible says, yes. anyone who loves their brothers mm. and sister loves, yeah. lives in the light. Okay, let me repeat. Mm -hmm. First John chapter 2 verse 10. Mm. Anyone who loves their brother mm -hmm. and sister mm. lives in the light. And that's the memory verse today. First John chapter 2, two verse 10. ten. Mentor, I also want you to repeat it in Swahili. Can you say it in Swahili? Yes, let me try. Okay. Ah, uh, in Kiswahili says, mm -hmm. Yoyote ampendae dugu yake. Yes. Uishi kwenye mwanga. Uishi kwenye mwanga. Yeah, like that one. Exactly. So, kids, boys and girls, our memory, uh, memory verse of today is First John 2.10. Let me repeat. He who loves their brothers and sisters abide in the light. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. So when you abide in the light, it means you have no hatred for your brothers and sisters. You are not jealous. You are not envious. You support your brothers and sisters in whatever they do. And God will bless you so, so much. Hallelujah, Mentor. Amen. So have you learned something today, Mentor? Yes, I'm going to love my brothers. Yes. And also I'm going to love everyone. And because what it's good to love one another. Okay. And also to protect them. Yes. When we have danger. Mm -hmm. Yes, like it's good for our brothers and sisters to protect the girl child in yeah. Form 1, Class mm -hmm. 8. Yeah. If we see bad boys, yes. we should report them to our parents. <laughs> Mentor. So from today you shall love Kunte. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Okay. Okay. I hope to meet Kunte soon. So before we close up uh, the service today, I would like by asking uh, any kid at home if they are born again. And uh, this is the time when we call the altar call. Mota, uh, mentor, what is being born again? Uh, being born again mm. is accepting Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to be the Lord your savior mm -hmm. and also repenting mm -hmm. and asking God to forgive you mm -hmm. and living right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So if you are at home and you are not saved, kindly repeat these words after me. 
Say, Lord Jesus. Mentor, I want you to repeat after me. Okay, okay, okay. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. I repent. I repent. Come into my life. Come into my life. From today. From today. I want to walk with you. I want to walk with you. I want to live with you. I want to live with you. I want to be, uh, I want to have eternal life in you. I want to have eternal life with you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray. And believe. And believe. If you say that prayer after me, kindly uh, make sure um, that you have an adult to guide you. You have your mom or you have your dad. They will guide you. Or, 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 or rather also you can still come to church, uh, to our church offices. Uh, you shall find guidance. And also there are numbers on our screens right here because we want to give our offerings through M-Pesa. So mentor, I want you to give an offering today. All right, all right. Did mom give you an offering? Uh, uh, I will ask mom to... I don't have a phone, so I'll tell my mom to give an offering. Exactly. So when you're at home, kindly tell mom. Yes. Or tell dad or whoever, or the guardian you are, you are with at home to kindly uh, give an offering to the numbers running down on our screens. Another thing, if you have a prayer need, if you need counseling, kindly, uh, you can come to the church offices and we shall direct or we shall help you. Uh, we shall know how to go about it. Then the last thing, make sure you obey all the government rules. Make sure you sanitize. Menta, where is your mask, by the way? Ah, uh, my, my mask? Yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's in my back. No, Menta. I will wear you... it when I'm going out. Menta, you'll be arrested. <gasps> We've talked about obedience. Oh? Yeah, make sure you abide by all government rules. I make will. Make sure you sanitize. Make sure you put on your mask. And make sure you stay at home if there is nothing you have to do. Till next time, see you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you all. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. And say hi to your family, bro. I have to say hi to them. Okay. Yeah. Thank see you, you next Sunday, Thank you so much.